Hi everybody, here we are again, and I would put Viewer Gold. Very nice, second pint off the barrel. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about dog training. Now, if you feed your dog dry dog food, don't bother feeding it in a bowl. Feed your dog by hand because it makes for a very good training session. Now we're going to demonstrate first with the Celtic Wall. She's very timid. Come. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Now this is just a week after a week of training by hand. This is a new one. Look up. Good girl. The look up is to try to stop her. She sit. Good girl. I don't know if you can see it. Good girl. Come. Good girl. She's very timid. Sit. Good girl. And we'll sit with her head bowed down to one side. So she doesn't have to make eye contact. So the treat brings her head up. Look up. Good girl. When you try to make eye contact, look up. Good girl. Look up. Good girl. Come. Good girl. You don't need the name. She's already sat, so I'm not going to give her anything for that. Look up. Good girl. Come. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. This is the extent of training that you can do at the moment. As you can see, she's very agitated all the time. Even when she's in a safe environment. Come. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Look up. Now the look up, she wouldn't do it first. Look up. Good girl. We've been training her for months. November, mid-November when she came. Come. Good girl. Sit. The sit we've been doing for. Good girl. Look up. Good girl. And as you can see, she's already asking for more, which is good. Which is a good thing. Good girl. Good girl. Look up. Good girl. Look up. Good girl. She wouldn't do this. Look up. Good girl. Look up. Good girl. Look up. Good girl. Look up. As you can see, she's already backing off. Pause there. We'll go to good girl. We'll go to um, El Spaniard. He's easier to train. He can get a good shouting at if he needs it, if he, or just not even a shouting at, just a reprimand. But the Celtic one is just needs to say, Come, good girl, sit, good girl. Gentle commands. I'm being too loud even talking to the camera. Look up. But after three days, look up. Look up, look up, three days ago, look up, she would have run off by now, look up, she wouldn't have looked up, she wouldn't have taken a treat from what's up top, it would always have had to be from down below. So that's working, it's working with the head, it's just, you've got to tailor everything to the dog that you've got. Good girl, hey? Good girl, come. Look up. Mel says, I didn't give her a treat for sitting because she's already sat without a command. Look up. Good girl, sit. Sit. Good girl. Look up. Good girl. There you go, finished. Hold well on. And give her, when you're finished, 
finish is a, an, another signal. I'll show you that. But when you've all done, just give them the rest of the treats. So that's how long it takes. Feed the dog by hand. So here we are, back with the old Spaniard. He was a pet in Spain and they just took him to the pound to be put down because they've had enough of him. Probably, beg your pardon, probably went and got a puppy on the way home. Not even going there on that one. But as you can see, the man handled this one quite easily. He's a good boy, aren't you? What a good boy. What a good boy. And he's working for his food. Repetition is always good. I'm going to try something relatively new. We're doing positioning. We've already done. Hang on, I'll see if I'll see if he'll do it. I don't know if he'll do it with him immediately. Finish. Good boy. Sit. Sit. No, finish. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Come. Good boy. He's not quite got the mechanism not from the side. If he's if he comes from a distance, he'll come and sit. Sit directly in front. But so we've done the finish. The new one that we're doing on, on positioning. We sit, down, stand. Sit, he's obviously got, good boy. Down, to feed the treat from below. That's the trick to do it, to, to, to help doing this training is down, you bring the treat down and it will go down to get the treat. And then you can just go down, no treat, but because the hand signal is there, that's the transition. And then next is just sit, good boy. Down, good boy, but always feed the treat from below. The next one, he sat, but I'm not treating him because I didn't tell him to do. The next one is stand, which is a bit more difficult. Stand, you need to bring the treat up, bring it forward until, good boy! As soon as he stood, he gets the treat, sit, down. He gets the treat and then sit, he gets the praise. Stand, so just bring the treat forward, stand, stand, good boy! Not quite a perfect stand, but it was a bit too close. Sit. Down. Sit. Stand. 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 No. Put him back. Sit. Sit. Stand. 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 Good boy. As soon as he stood, get the good boy and the stroke because it's something new. If it's a standard one, he just gets the treat. Sit. Down. Stand. He's a bit close again. Stand. Stand. And always do your new stuff at the beginning of your training session. As soon as he's had half of his food already. As soon as he starts getting a bit full, any dog, we're gonna switch up a bit. And then it's so what you need to do then is the stuff that's easy, quick fire, down, down. Sit. 
down, sit, down, sit. It just reinforces that. So once you've got something that you're fairly good at, that's the stuff that you can continue on at the end of the training session. Down, sit, and try them again. Stand, 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 good boy. So a new position, a new command, he gets more praise than just a standard treat. Down. Hope that's helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.